Welcome to the first part of an introductory series, How to Dominate in Modern Warfare 2. Uh, the goal of this series is to hopefully let players level up their game, improve kill-death ratios, or essentially become a better Modern Warfare 2 player. My name is Maximilian. I put out some videos originally when the game first came out, uh, including one of the first legitimate nuke videos that hit the internet. And if you want to take some advice as far as improving your kill-death and becoming a better player, you can watch this series. We're going to start off with a game of domination on Favela. Now right here at the start, it looks like we're popping at the top of the map, uh, which arguably is the better side of Favela to spawn on. Uh, the location I always choose to take up is above these stairs and right where the invincible banana leaves are uh, that can't be shot through. Usually if you find the guy across the way in this area, you can usually, usually easily take him down or his bolts will get soaked up by the banana leaves. If you cross over in this area, be sure you have claymores on because they protect your ass uh, way better than any other secondary grenade will. And hold this room down. This room is essentially the, uh, the gateway to all areas that relate to domination on Favela. I use the AA-12 simply because it has the best results as far as shotguns go, and Modern Warfare 2 has some latency issues uh, that are different than Modern, uh, uh, Call of Duty 4. So, a gun that can spray shots will usually get you more kills than not. And really quick, if you didn't see the starting class, I roll a hardline class with a scar and extended mags. Being smart, I get the hell out of there because I'm running a 5-7-11. You literally get four kills that can turn into seven. And that seven kills can very easily turn into 11 if you have an enemy team that isn't used stingers actively. Uh, so that's what you do here. You play the game smart, you don't play like an idiot and rush out when you're uh, letting your Harriers do some work. Like I almost do here and get killed. Uh, luckily enough, I have it, an enemy that isn't very smart and will just run up the stairs and get hit by a claymore. But if you let your Harriers do the work for you, your kill death will legitimately rise and you can see that getting only four kills can lead to literally 30 if you let them I come back to the area that I was mentioning earlier start up again and get a full view of what's going on in the action because from here you can have an idea of what's happening at A you can definitely cover B and you can also use the doorway right here to look down and get an eye at C. So as long as you're covering these points, you can maximize your kill-death ratio and be a legitimate help to your team. That's a great choke point right there. And I'm not too sure if that cloth on that wall is actually bulletproof or not. All in all, I think the Scar with Extended Mags is a perfect gun for using hardline. I've tried hardline with many other different weapons and this one seems to be the best. I, I really don't know why because many other weapons have the same damage output if not a better fire rate but for some reason the scar just gets the job done. It could be the iron sights, it could be a combination of things. Extended mags isn't the easiest thing to get but if you keep using FMJ rounds it, it will come pretty quickly. I've managed to get it in like a day and a half or two days. Uh, this is a pretty good place to put out the chopper gunner and Chopper Gunner are usually boring to watch, but I can show you a couple things that happen right here that only happen on uh, Favela if you hold down two locations. If you get them out of the spots where they can initially start spawning, they'll start popping in the back of C if you have A and B. And this is one of the worst spawn locks in the game if you're on the opposing team. Like, it is absolutely atrocious. There's one spot right there, and then they pop right down on top of C. And luckily enough, they take me down because I there's some atrocious stuff that can be had uh, if you have a chopper gunner at that point. If they spawn at C, they'll be also be spawning above C. And moving your chopper gunner a little bit up to get kills is ridiculous. I think I've honestly gotten at least 35 kills with one chopper gunner doing that once. Another good reason to run chopper gunner on this level. Maintaining this position is really, is probably the best way to go about it. The middle is always the best ground because you seem to always have the advantage. There's tons of there's tons of really good cover, and there's tons of areas where enemies will be popping around about corners. Unfortunately, a knife runner can usually end all of what you've been working for, depending on the people you're playing.
Ooh, that's just unfortunate. Poor guy. And they will try to get in here. The great thing about having two claymores is that if you put the claymores down in these doors, you can cover the top and listen for your claymores to go off. If one goes off, you know a dude's coming up the stairs and you can easily AA fall him in the head. Some people tell me it's hard to uh, deal with the scar when it's in full auto. I don't, I don't find it necessarily a problem at all. I think the scar's got great accuracy and it's got really good uh, recoil, especially for a, uh, especially for an assault rifle. Uh, looks like we're losing A. However, this spot was really good for getting A. However, I got hit in that area. That room's, a, that room's probably the best area to cover A from. As you can see, we can keep this location at B, and if we stay at A, another spawn lock can happen. So as long as you hold B, uh, you can dominate the holy crap out of a team. If you have team members that don't run around and capture like all three points, which is absolutely ridiculous and unnecessary. Just as quick as the first one started, when you have hardline and you hold down in a concentrated area, four kills leads into seven, I mean leads into six, and then six leads into ten pretty quickly. <laughs> it's odd to think that in the large scope of things, if you play smart, your four kills can turn into literally thirty. Well, that's just the way this game works, and as much as Call of Duty 4 was about being a pro, shooting straight, knowing cover, and understanding your enemy, this game is about using what the game gives you. Oh, I took my friend's last stand kill. I'm an asshole. Modern Warfare 2 to me seems like it's about maximizing the environment to your advantage at most points because Usually if you get a one-on-one -on -one firefight, no matter how good you are, there's always a determining factor outside of your skill that can affect it, uh, whether it's the lag or latency of a game. If you haven't noticed, you go back and play Call of Duty 4 every once in a while, or once if you haven't from Modern Warfare 2 coming out. Uh, the game has a legitimate uh, internet, like la latency problem, and you cannot make that jump. Don't try to make that jump. Uh, if you if you go on one on one firefights, no matter how sh how straight you shoot or how or how fast you are, sometimes the game will just not let you live, and it's the same thing on the respawn. And you just can't help where you respawn sometimes. So you take what you can get. This game has some blatant issues, and Call of Duty Four seems like an all, all around better better shooter. But I've I'm maintaining a higher kill death ratio because of things like this, because of things like a four four to thirty. Uh, potential kill rate off something like a chopper gunner. And if you can pinpoint the people that are trying to shoot down your chopper gunner, you can get a much better kill death ratio. That's a terrible spawn lock right there. They either can spawn right there in that area next to the busted car, or above A to the left. I don't think I'm looking at it. It's right here. This spot and this spot right here where they get enemies usually. If you have B and C. And if you think about it, getting four kills isn't that hard, but sometimes getting a fifth kill for a predator can be a nightmare. Uh, it happens to me on several occasions, which is why I started investigating hardline and understanding the way it works. But yeah, all in all, if you want to level up your kill death and you want to uh, pull out a chopper gunner during a domination game, which is almost a sure win or a, po a point where you can actually hold all three spots, it can be pretty amazing. So yeah, in the end, 59-1. and one. Uh, I'll be doing continuous videos on different maps from here on out. Uh, they'll be called the How to Dominate series and the different ways to show you how to level up your game in Modern Warfare 2. Thanks for watching, folks. Take care.